So I caught a segment of the Hill TV uh, interview with a uh, reporter, a journalist who has been talking to some people within the Elizabeth Warren camp. And this reporter <laughs> just revealed why Elizabeth Warren hasn't endorsed Bernie Sanders and just honestly really speaks to her narcissism at this point I don't know what else you could call it she's more so the reason <laughs> that the people within Warren's campaign have had told this reporter on the on the condition of confidentiality because they don't you know want their names in the press about this is that because Elizabeth is because Bernie Sanders campaigned in her home state of Massachusetts in places like Boston and wherever else he had campaign events so that's one reason and then supposedly supposedly because some of um, Bernie Sanders surrogates people within the squad or something were being overly mean or critical towards Elizabeth Warren so I mean Jesus Jesus fucking Christ this is a pivotal a pivotal election and moment in U.S. political history. Bernie Sanders is a once-in-a-lifetime candidate, somebody who actually has, you know, <laughs> ethical and moral principles and says and does the right thing no matter the cost. And then you have Elizabeth Warren because supposedly she got her feelings hurt because Bernie was actually campaigning to win, campaigning in Massachusetts, a contest, a primary state, every candidate campaigned there to a certain extent. And then guess what? Elizabeth Warren also had a um, ha had some campaign staffs, had some events, had some groundwork going on in Bernie's home state of Massachusetts. So it's just hypocritical. And again, just to just speaks to how really honestly just childish and immature this is of Elizabeth Warren to like oh I got my feelings hurt Bernie was campaigning to win so I'm gonna I'm gonna go not gonna endorse anybody and again not endorsing Bernie is a tacit endorsement of Joe Biden somebody who supposedly she got into politics to fight his you know horrible bankruptcy bill his, him being really cozy with Wall Street Biden used to be known as the senator from MBNA the former credit card company because he was always ready and willing to do the bidding of the credit card industry and you know it was always in the back pocket of of you know different um, you know Wall Street firms and businesses as well so she would rather sit out because Bernie campaigned in her home state which she also campaigned in his home state and again she's just a very sore loser and you know there's really serious consequences to having Joe Biden as the nominee and obviously that's four more years of Donald Trump um, anybody who actually thinks Joe Biden could defeat Donald Trump has not been paying attention to Joe Biden's long, horrible record, decades long record of supporting and of su just supporting really bad just policy and just being on the wrong side of history with things like the Iraq war. He supported NAFTA, which has led to million plus jobs being outsourced and, you know, especially in really pivotal swing states like um you know wisconsin michigan pennsylvania trump would hammer him on that like i said the iraq war the bankruptcy bill working with segregationists the corruption angle trump would really hit him hard on that and then the fact that you know it's be real joe biden has some serious cognitive decline going on right now and it's happening in front of our eyes in real time and you really got to be um <laughs> delusional at this point to not to not see that happening he literally can't get through a single campaign event without just having a complete verbal meltdown and just completely losing track of his thought and really 
struggling to to regain it and when he does he tries to you know kind of play it off but it honestly it's just really sad that he's out there in his current mental state and that's something that Trump has already been hammering him with um Bernie Sanders isn't willing to go there because that's just the type of person and politician that Bernie is sometimes I think he needs to remove those kid gloves to actually um you know highlight how just really bad and horrible Joe Biden is and to also not keep calling him his friend and saying that Joe Biden can beat Trump because he can't that's not true and Bernie needs to be highlighting why he is the candidate that can beat Trump but so you know these these stakes are huge and Elizabeth Warren because you know boohoo Bernie Sanders campaigned in my state so I'm gonna act like you know a little child who doesn't get get what they want um, and I'm not going to endorse anybody that in the, you know, there's kids, kids in cages, 70 plus thousand people died here because they don't have health care. 45 million people have student loan debt. 40% of the population can't afford a $400 emergency, but Bernie hurt my feelings by campaigning to win in my state, which I came in third. That makes me really sad, but all that other stuff, that's not really important. What's important is me, 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 me. That's that's the type of message that Elizabeth Warren is conveying this point and it's just hugely hugely um just disgusting and disappointing because again the stakes are so huge that just there's so many huge existential problems facing the United States and the world right now and instead of speaking up about that stuff and actually s supporting and endorsing the candidate who has, um, you know, the the vision and the the set the correct set of policy prescriptions to go about starting to address some of these things like issues in healthcare with Medicare for all, a, a Green New Deal, so we have an habitable planet to live on, canceling student loan debt. You know, all these things that supposedly Elizabeth Warren supports and Bernie Sanders also supports, just to, um, you know, a more progressive degree with Bernie. Um, she would rather let Joe Biden become the nominee, get defeated by Donald Trump. Former years of Trump filling the courts with these crazy, wacko right-wing justices, further, you know, dismantling regulations with regards to the environment, um, you know, public safety, you know, environmental protections, protections in the workplace, uh, reproductive rights, just further exasperating wealth inequality, empire, all xenophobia, kids in cages, uh, you know, um, you know, our racist, you know, foreign and domestic policy, the prison industrial complex, all of these things are going to get worse under a Trump presidency. The only candidate who has a chance of beating Trump is Bernie Sanders. And so Liz with all that said, Elizabeth Warren is still just, you can't be neutral on a moving train. I believe that's what the uh, great people's historian Howard Zinn used to say. You can't be neutral on a moving train. This is a hugely pivotal moment in U.S political history and u.s presidential election history and instead of being on the right side of history elizabeth warren is sitting on the sidelines because bernie sanders campaigned in her state and that really hurt her feelings so you know that's basically saying f fuck off to the 70 plus thousand people that die each year because they don't have health care fuck off to the 45 million people just swimming drowning i should say in student loan debt the environmental crisis the eventual collapse if we don't the collapse of our species the sixth ma mass extinction um due to climate change our empire ice legalizing weed and in the war on drugs all of these things are su super super important and instead of focusing on that and the, again the candidate who wants to make the government work for the working people, she's sitting on the sidelines because ber boo hoo, Bernie Sanders campaign in her state. Grow up. This is this is bigger than any of us. And again, that's why Bernie Sanders is the his campaign slogan is not me us. Elizabeth Warren's campaign slogan is her. It's it's sad. It's disgusting and this isn't to knock any Warren supporters, anything like that. I highly encourage you to 
vote and support Bernie Sanders because, again, he's the only candidate who's capable of defeating Donald Trump, hugely important, and he's running on a populist, progressive, left agenda that um, wants to govern with, through a lens of racial, economic, and environmental justice. Not me, us. Bernie 2020. Peace. Much love.